A mathematician, like a painter or a poet, makes patterns. The patterns are made with ideas. They are beautiful patterns. The ideas, like the colours or the words, must fit together in a creative way. If you succeed in this almost impossible letting go, you suddenly see deep inside, behind, beyond and a whole world of maths peers. Shapes and colours dance and sing, each with a smell and a taste. I can see every colour, taste, smell, song, idea, possibility, feeling and wish. Your mind can be filled with the most amazing numbers, shapes and patterns that you could ever imagine. Have you ever felt anxious, frustrated or sad when doing maths? Very often people believe that they can't do maths, that they are not a maths person and they see it as dull and boring. Well, let me show you this, the mindsets. Imagine that you are in a maths class. It's important that you work hard. If at first you don't succeed, then you keep trying. And don't forget, sometimes maths problems can take forever. You won't be able to do it, Ben. You're not a math person. But everyone can do math. You're not going quick enough. Go faster, go faster, go faster. People might think you're not smart if you don't go fast. Math isn't about speed. You must understand the problem. Ah, I made a mistake. You shouldn't make mistakes. In fact, mistakes grow your brain. You can learn from that mistake. I don't think I can solve it alone. You don't have to solve it alone. Math is about teamwork. Remember, five brains are better than one. You're right. I've got it. You've not got the answer. No, but I have the solution. I need to believe in myself and I can do it. All it takes is having a growth mindset, believing that you can do it, making it fun and doing it in your own special way. Don't be stuck. Don't say you can't do it. Think about it. Try a different method. Learn from your mistakes. Ask questions. Have you got it? The spiders in Medley Primary School were eating their dinner. Flies, flies and flies. How many flies have we got today, Mum? Lots. Loads. That's not a number. Never mind about numbers. Eat up your flies. The spiders swung down to watch the children of Medley playing football. The children scored goal after goal. How many goals is that, Mum? Lots. Loads. What a family! How will I ever learn about numbers? It wasn't long before the spiders decided to have their own game of football. How many spiders should we have in each team, Mum? Uh, lots? Loads. I think both teams should have the same number. Down with numbers. Spinderella felt sad. I wish I could learn more about numbers. And so you shall. Spinderella spun down and saw an enormous hairy spider. Who are you? I am your hairy godmother. Follow me into the classroom. Keep your eyes and ears open. Now I want you to count yourselves. Then came a wonderful sound. Spinderella couldn't wait to tell her mom. Hello, Mum. I can count up to 23. Never mind. Eat up with flies. I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I've got 14 flies. So what? Down with numbers, up with flies and football. The spiders decided to play football again. I wish we had football boots. And so you shall. How many football boots will you need? Lots. Loads. That's not good enough. I need a number. Eight. We've each got eight legs, so we each need eight boots. 
done. Up with Spenderella! Up with numbers! Numbers are very important. They help us count. We can't always have lots, loads or not many. We need numbers to make them count. Today's big idea is a vision. Are you ready? What is 25 divided by 5? What is wrong, children? I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Never say that you can't do it. It will take some time. Don't give in. Find a way to solve it. Put on your thinking caps and stick with it. I just can't do it. Yes. I don't know how to. Yes. I just don't want to. Yes. I'm not that bothered. Yes. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Imagination will take you anywhere. In maths, you can't forget about how powerful the imagination is. Visualising in maths helped your brain to understand. Did you know the most powerful learning occurs when we use different areas of our brain? Math can be very challenging at times. When working with different numbers, symbols and representation, your brain can become overwhelmed. However, if you think creatively about maths, using different strategies and thinking visually about these numbers, symbols and representations, then you can grow your brain. So next time, when you're deep in thought about math questions, ask yourself, can I draw a picture? Can I use multiple strategies? Can I add a visual component? Use your imagination to paint a picture of math. Thinking in maths is about creativity, openness, visualising, flexibility. It is only then that maths will come alive. Did you know that straight lines can make curves? Here is the answer in a visual representation. Our imaginations have followed the path of a parabola. Now that's amazing. Maths is colourful, creative and full of new possibilities. Let your mind's eye visualise the solution. Do not forget, imagination is more important than knowledge. 
Let your imagination take you on a maths journey. There it goes again. Another synapse fired inside your brain. Every time you make a mistake, your brain sparks and grows. Mistakes in maths are very important. Every time you make a mistake, you should take time to reflect on them. This way, you will learn something new and you will deepen your understanding. Don't worry about getting all the questions right. Maths isn't a test to see how many questions you can get right. Maths is an opportunity to learn, to take risks, to make mistakes, to use the wrong to help you find the right. We all make mistakes. It's proof that we're trying. Embrace them. It will make you a better maths learner. But the mistakes show that I'm not good at maths. I feel embarrassed when I make mistakes. People often make up to 35,000 decisions a day, so we're bound to make mistakes. If we didn't make mistakes, we wouldn't learn. When working on maths, mistakes are more than acceptable. I am able to look at my work and think, what went wrong? I can then show what I've learned and put it right. That is something really special. So making mistakes can be super fun. Learning from a mistake is interesting. Hmm. Problems in math are challenging. And if I don't understand, I know I can work on it with confidence. Because making mistakes along the way is good. I'm not afraid to be wrong. We can think about it together and learn so much from our errors. So when I reflect on my mistakes, I should feel happy. Exactly. Mistakes aren't a sign of failure. The proof that you're trying. You won't fail a thousand times. You'll find a thousand ways that do not work. I know what I know because of the mistakes I have made. If I don't finish soon, people think I'm not smart. They will think I'm not good at maths. You have to be fast to be good at maths, don't you? Tick tock, tick tock. You're slow, you're slow, you're slow. Oh no, oh no, oh no. You're overdue. You're NMX2. You're slow, you're slow, you're slow. I try and then I stop. I quicken to reach the top. I wish that I could do it. There's danger if I slow. Down, down, down. I cannot help but frown. We know you're slow, so why are you still here? I'll never make it now, I fear. You're slow, you're slow, you're slow. I've got to go. You really are so slow. My mind, I wound, but now it's wound, it makes a funny ticking sound. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's rather like a clock. You're never going to make it. I suppose I can just fake it. You're slow, you're slow, you're slow. This really isn't fun, but I'm glad to say, I'm done! Finally, she's done! People often think that maths is about speed. How fast you are isn't related to how good you are. It isn't just about how quickly you can work with numbers and calculations. Maths is also about exploring patterns, visualisations and ideas deeply. Speed isn't important in maths. What is important is understanding what you're doing. Problem solving, reasoning, mathematical thinking. We use them every day. Estimation and rounding, number and number processes, fractions, decimal fractions and percentages, money, time, measurement, the list goes on. We use it every day in everything that we do. Do you want to be a great inventor? To invent your future? It all starts with ideas. No matter what job you go into, you will use maths. The world is full of problems. The future needs problem solvers. It needs you. Your future will have maths in it. Your career, your job, your life. Everyone, as unique as we are, can be good at maths. We may be different, but we have one thing in common. We all use maths. And everyone needs maths. Maths is a language. It will open doors to your career. By being a math maker, you could be 
a scientist, a shopkeeper, an accountant or a joiner, a technician, a doctor, a game designer or an engineer, an artist, a mathematician or who you want to be. Never shy away from the challenge of maths. You can succeed. When you're older, you want to be excited to go to work every day. Be excited to use maths in your career. Be excited for your future. A bright one. Success, the iceberg. Yet, what people see isn't often all of the mathematical thinking. The puzzling thing about maths is that some problems can take forever, yet the answer is what people are after. What really is important is the process. The thinking, the struggle, the mistakes, the effort, that is the part that matters. A math puzzle is made up of tiny pieces, with little details and creases that fit together precisely, creating a whole new idea. Puzzles can be quite a handful. They are very fragile, yet still beautiful. They are time-consuming and require a lot of attention, from beginning up to completion. Upon completion, we must remember that the tip of the iceberg is just the answer. The process that mathematicians go through, the mathematical thinking, is what counts. Each and every piece of our hidden iceberg is vital. That is what makes maths so puzzling. <laughs>